Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we are going to get into your recent past, your current energy, the near future. We're going to pull some Oracle cards, and I also have a new deck um, from a client that I've had for a year that I've been wanting to use, and I feel like this is the appropriate time, so we're going to pull a card from that for you as well. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you'd like a personal reading, that info is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. So I just want to say because it, it's standing out really strongly before I start pulling the cards. The Six of Wands is on the bottom of the deck, um, which means to me that, and, and it's going to be something different for all of you something is going to be okay. There's going to be success. There's going to be, it's more like victory. So I feel like you could be celebrating something like you feel like you won or there's some victory in something that's happening. It doesn't just feel like success. It feels like victory. So I don't use that word very often. Okay. Let's see what your overall energy for the next 10 days is. The nine of wands. Okay. So you're going to, some of you are going to be re-triggered over the next 10 days. And you would have thought that you had healed something, but it's bringing something else up for you. This happens often. I just said this in Cancer's reading, so if you have any Cancer placements, you might want to listen to that as well, because something's popping up that's got to re-trigger you or have you release this energy before the Pluto shift happens, because it's going to significantly affect everyone. It may take time for the bigger changes to be apparent, but if you're feeling a little bit triggered by something right now, are you going to be victorious over a situation? Absolutely. But it's being triggered for a reason. Uh, if you were in the upright, I'd say, okay, you're a little worse for the wear, but you're on the other side of it. In this case, something is just there. And the best that you can do is just allow it to happen. Feel it. Don't bury it. And let it release. Because they're always going to be with you. It's just a matter of how long they create a problem, meaning memories, traumas, things like that and how much of it you carry in your body, and if you can try to release as much as you possibly can. All right, so the recent past, clearly. I mean, it's making sense. Something is recently just, I mean, broken your heart. Again, different for everybody. Let's keep going because there'll be different scenarios that pop up. Clearly, some of you are in a lot of pain or were in a lot of pain. And like I said, it's something that's triggering you. But the Ace of Wands, it's the reason this is happening, which I think is the most important purpose of reading these cards is to say there's an understanding that you're going through something like this but the ace of wands is that you you've got that kick in the butt it's saying but this is about to catapult you into something new or it's going to push you into something that you're really passionate about and reignite something in you that needed to be reignited and it happens a lot we may not be as conscious of it as we like to be, but things like this will happen. Then all of a sudden something really great comes about and we feel more passionate or we feel more driven or we decide that something is not good for us anymore and we clear our lives. All these different things happen, of course, through pain. So this is because it's trying to usher in something new, a new experience for you. Under that, we have the Knight of Cups. They want you to go towards the things that you really, truly love. And they want you to take your time and not rush. You know, being passionate and also focusing on what you truly love is important. This is an individual energy. I can read the cards in a hundred different ways. This is what I'm getting from this. It's like you need to sit on that horse and glide towards the things you love. You don't have to run. You don't have to chase. You don't have to do anything. You just have to accept the fact that it's okay to go after what you love. Let's look into the current energy. We have the Hermit. So you could be coming out of a space page of cups in reverse. You could be dealing with difficult, difficult situation with a child. Page of cups typically would be somebody who's a little emotionally imbalanced or emotionally immature, but a child's going to be emotionally immature. Um, for some of you, this is, it could be a Virgo. It could be any of the signs really, because we have pretty much everyone except earth, but doesn't mean that the Hermit is Virgo. So it could be a Virgo, um, but any, either way, it's like you're not in the dark about something anymore. There's something that's very clear. You may have had to go inward, but you figured it out, and now whatever this challenge is, 
it's going to be worked out. Let's see what comes after that because we got to clarify. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This could be a situation that has bled you dry financially. Um, it could also be a very expensive situation and you recognize that you need to pull away because you need to focus on that for yourself if there have been challenges around money. So just whether it has to do with the child or not doesn't matter. It's the fact that there has been some challenges and they want you to take a step back. Sometimes when we have financial challenges, it's because it needs us to sit still, um, look at things differently and start figuring out what we want to do. It isn't, listen, I don't believe ever that you're blocking your blessings. Things are going to come to you. You're always going to be supported. If it is your life path, otherwise we'd be, people would be homeless. All of us would be because we wouldn't be taken care of in the weird and strange ways that we always are. So if something like this is coming about, it's just to tell you, relook at, reevaluate what's going on here and is it worth it? Will it drain you? Is it something that you can put your energy and money and finances into? Is it affecting your ability to make money? There's all kinds of things that may pop up around that. So in the near future, we have the death in reverse. Let's see what's under that. Three of cups. Okay. And justice in reverse. So remember I said there's going to be victory over something, but you may not feel there could be a Libra involved in the situation or a Scorpio as well. Um, right now, something has not completely transformed. It just hasn't. So this is only a 10 day reading. So the near future is going to be, what, within 10 days? That may not transform completely and it may still feel like there isn't justice in the situation. So you may be feeling this way, but a part of you um, kind of wants to celebrate and get ready for what I think you know is coming, which will ultimately be the justice. We'll look into that when we clarify. What's your challenge going to be? The five of pentacles. So some of you have a really hard time with abandonment issues. Maybe you have a hard time walking away from situations. And that's part of what you're dealing with right now. It's a challenge because it's in reverse and it's your challenge. You have a tough time. You may hold, hold on to things and energies for far too long. And that's okay. We all have to get through things at our own time. But that I that's what I feel is that you have a tough time. Maybe because you had your own stuff around that and you have a hard time abandoning other people even if they're not good for you because you have a heart and a heart of gold and you want to be there for everyone I'm gonna take a sip of coffee give me a sec okay so let's go ahead and clarify what we've got going on with this nine of wands if we can identify what this is for you that needs to be cleared we will All right, so strength, because they want you, they want you to understand that this is going to create more strength. It doesn't feel like it, but every time we get beat down, we come back up ten times stronger. And I think that's what it is. It's to give you more courage and strength, um, maybe to do things you haven't done before. Maybe it's to take different steps in these scenarios in your life to realize just how strong you are and how much you've already overcome as well. Right? So sometimes we will be triggered, but we're a different person when we're triggered the 15th time and we become much stronger and we have a new awakening moment or we have a new epiphany about something. So it's really about your strength. The four of wands, this could be, um, this could create a, for some of you, this could create a, a stronger foundation within your home. Could be that there's a marriage involved. For some of you, this could be um, just a partnership that comes into your life that is going to be very strong. And you've needed to overcome some of those old wounds or old challenges in order to be open to that. That's what they need you to be. But take what resonates. Um, but there's something about home being good. Eight of Wands. It's like things are slowing down right now. I don't feel like things are speeding up. So you may find that the next couple of weeks may be just a tad bit slower in order for you to get through some of this stuff. Not that you're not gonna be doing your normal life, you are. But I don't know, it just doesn't feel like things are moving at a rapid, rapid pace. So the Three of Swords with the Ace of Wands, the reason. All right, so we've got the Ten of Cups in reverse. So if there is some disharmony or something going on, again, this could be family um, or around your happiness and stability. If it's challenging you, it's because it's bringing something up to help you recognize what needs to be either set in stone, changed, or decision made so that you can move forward because there is a new beginning. And if you don't get this settled now, you're not going to be able to focus on going after 
what matters to you. All right, so what's next? The magician. Perfect. So uh, clearly we all manifest at all times. You don't have to sit down and do specific rituals or anything like that. You just are saying these things in your mind. This is what I want to create. This is what I want to go after. This is how I feel. So that's manifestation in itself. So if you are finding yourself um, more conscious of the fact that you're trying to manifest something different, follow your heart. What makes you feel good? You were told for a long time that you couldn't follow the things that made you feel good because what you had to do was work, 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 and you know, do what you had to do to get by. And that's just not the energy we're in anymore. So focus on what you love and yourself. The Hermit in reverse with the Page of Cups in reverse, we have the Chariot. Good news because it's in the upright. So it tells me that something is going to resolve itself, whether it be, or you're just going to move on from it. It's not, for some of you, it could be around a child and you're not totally like disconnecting, but you're moving away from the situation. Distancing yourself is what it feels like. The page of cups in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles, the hangman, you could find that this situation keeps you kind of stuck and that's not where you want to be. So that may be why you're being triggered around it again is to move on from it. Is to do the best that you can deal, do the best that you can do to deal with it and start to move forward. Whoever it may be in your life, it doesn't necessarily have to be a child. Okay, because there's lots of people, adults that act like children. So the death in reverse, there's something that hasn't quite transformed itself, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, with the Three of Cups, it's interesting because some of you, it's like you've been through a massive transformation. Others of you are still going through one, but this is gonna be something to celebrate because it's creating a sense of stability in your life that maybe some of you haven't felt for quite some time. Or, I mean, if you have, and it's not been forever, but something threw you off a couple weeks ago, then that could be what this is. It's like, mm, let's bring stability back into your life. Um, this could be around your finances as well. Some of you could find out that something good is happening financially, and that's something to celebrate. Even if right now it doesn't feel like there's justice coming in around something else. I, let, let's see. Let me keep pulling. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Yes. So something is happening slowly. So if this is around your career, if you're going to be um, starting something new or... If you've been focused on wanting to create more stability in your life financially, this is going to take a little bit of time. And that could seem a little bit unjust, right? Because you've been through a lot of challenges. We all have. But in this case, I think patience is going to be needed because this is what you're creating. It's like in the deck, uh, the last deck I typically use, the building blocks card. Slow and steady is what it's going to take to get there. A lot of us are used to instant gratification and it's not that we can't have that at times, but right now I don't think that's what this is about. It's trying to get you as grounded as possible so that you have the most stability in your life because you want that more than anything. So with this uh, Five of Pentacles in your challenge, Eight of Cups. So it's hard for you to walk away. What did I say? Those two cards go side by side. One, it's emotionally hard to let go of certain things. You don't want to do to other people what has been done to you where you felt abandoned, left behind. So yeah, it's hard for you to walk away from some things. It may be it's just hard to disconnect emotionally because clearly something's hurt you recently or in the recent past. And that's totally 1000%, like I said, understandable. And just know that if it's triggering something deeply, it's for a, a good, good purpose because something new is coming about and you're manifesting something really good it's a new chapter in your life. It is for all of us. So get ready because if you have to move away from people that you love and it may not be fun, it's for your sanity. It's for your stability. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple of cards from the Lover's Oracle. They don't always come out around love, but something may pop up there. Let's just see because, of course, you're all on different paths. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. There you go. That's everything that I feel like you're trying to experience it's a sense of freedom and stability and then it says wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course good so depending on where you are that's usually around a love situation or even a work situation just kind of let it like I was talking about instant gratification which um, again I don't think I've ever said in a reading we want things to happen right away but if you rush into it it may turn out differently I'm not saying that you're going to miss something or that in the past when you've missed something and it didn't go well, that you were wrong for doing that. 
You just learn from those things. You're meant to miss the red flags at some times in your life, in some situations, because you have a lesson to learn. All right, so a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you, whoever that may be for you, whoever you just first thought of. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this, and they will manifest physically. Okay, so whatever you think of soulmates, we have many. There is not just one. I know we as humans created the whole, oh, that one is my soulmate. They're all your soulmates in some capacity. All right, so what do we want to do next? Let's get a little bit of advice. Let's see what we, what spirit wants to say. What's the advice? Strength card is don't let things get you down. You're too strong for that. I mean, clearly, that's what they're trying to do is rebuild your strength. They see that some things can test you, but don't let this take you down, the Knight of Wands. Because you're the type that just keeps pushing through. That fiery side of your personality that sits in every Pisces I've ever met in my life, that fiery side of you is like, no, I, I can pick myself back up. I may feel a little weak right now, but this is who I am. This is how I move. And you're just going to keep moving with that fire. So they want you to keep in that place. Knight of Cups. There could be somebody around you that is tremendously supportive or loves you very much. Or you're meeting somebody new that wants to get to know you, for those of you that are single. Um, so pay attention to that because whoever this is, is very attracted to your energy. The Eight of Swords in reverse. See, they want you to understand that you're not stuck. You're not stuck. You may feel like it, but you're becoming unstuck from being constantly in your head and overthinking things. So just allow it to happen because it's releasing from your life. Uh, don't get too worked up about this person, whoever this may be. If they show interest or it's somebody that you love. Don't question the person, is what I keep hearing. They're very attractive. They love you. Don't question their love. If you're already in a relationship, and if you're not, and it's somebody coming towards you, I don't think you have to question their motives. Yeah. And then the justice card was on the bottom. So they want you to know that there is going to be balance restored in your life, and justice is definitely coming. Okay, let's get an oracle card for you, and then we're going to do the Australian animal oracle cards. We'll pull one from that, and I'll read the message for you. All right, so we have by the book. So see, this is tradition. Some of some of you really like that. You kind of like things to be by the book. That's where justice sometimes comes in. Again, very Libra energy. Uh, you could be born on the 11th, the 1st, or the 2nd of the month. And that's that just means that things are kind of happening by the book. So be patient while they unfold. Milk and honey, this is the need to take care of yourself. Remember, you can't neglect yourself. Regardless of the circumstances, do your best to take a bath. It's, it's a good healer. So you could be 51 born on the 5th, the 1st, or the 6th of the month, and then peace. This is what they're trying to say. What's changing in your life is that you're going to have a sense of peace. Fives are about change, and there's a five there and a five that this reduces to. So you could be 23 born on the 2nd, the 3rd, or the 5th of the month. This is what they want for you. So if you've been feeling a lack of peace, this is what's being brought in over the next couple weeks. Unfinished symphony. So things that had been unfinished... Nine of Wands in reverse, being triggered by past wounds. That's what's coming to an end. Those things are going to be wrapping themselves up, and it could be very quickly. You could find that it happens as quick as the next 10 days. So you could be born on the 10th, the 1st, or the 1st of the month. Just remember, that's about endings and new beginnings. So an unfinished symphony is something that needs to be wrapped up, and then a new beginning coming. So that's what you're feeling, and this is one of those moments where something new is coming in. All right, so let's get the last card. These cards are so beautiful. Um, I'm going to try to remember to put the link, and I told her I would, but I'll put her website. Um, she had definitely given a discount if anybody wants to get these. They're stunning cards, and they feel amazing. I know I'm not getting anything from it. I, I do this because I care about the people who do such beautiful work, and I want to help women. Okay, so your card, if I can get it apart, is going to be... So it's the duck. So it's the number 29. You could be 29, born on the 2nd, the 9th, or the 11th. It's the now. I mean, we can read pretty much of what that means. The here and now. The, not the peace card, but the here and now. So let's read the message really quickly from the duck. Until I get to know these a little bit better. Sorry, I know. I wish I could move quicker. Okay, so the duck... 
The message is, Duck invites us to stay grounded and focused, as I said to you at the end of the reading, as we navigate the current of the current of life, it reminds us that by being in the now, we are provided with the stability and adaptability for our own immediate situation. Duck encourages us to be present with one with our emotions and thoughts so we can embrace the next phase of our journey with clarity and confidence. The card asks us to find your inner balance by remaining in the now. That's exactly it. Being right here, right now. Didn't that card come out for you? No, peace. And then smoother waters, grounded emotional stability. Great. Remember I said this is trying to, to bring this up so that you can heal it so it creates a little bit more of a sense of stability. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you again so, so much for being here. Please hit that like button on the way out. I appreciate you and leave a message. I love interacting with you guys. If you'd like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Have an amazing 10 days and I'll see you guys in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.